Hello. Uh, we'll continue with uh, introducing the new features of release 12.2.4. And now I want to show you uh, new functionality, which is a proxy user. This proxy user, uh, it's something that typically used uh, for you know, uh, senior executives who have uh, someone that is entering in the system and acting as them. Typically sharing passwords, usernames. Um, so the purpose of proxy user is to allow to delegate um, all the system uh, in order to have the you know the person who has been uh, delegated the functions to act as the user. So uh, I'm going to start with system administrator. Uh, I'm going to go to a responsibility that will allow us to check um, what is you know the different you know uh, capabilities of. Um, uh, um, the proxy user. So I'm going to go to user management um, and then there's a proxy configuration. With this proxy configuration um, there's a three tabs, okay? So each of the tabs will allow the system administrator to have exclusions, policies, and privileges, okay? So you can exclude certain responsibilities that cannot be uh, used to delegate uh, to you know, on, the, on the proxy functionality. Uh, in the case here, we see there's a one uh, responsibility that has not, you know, has been excluded for that. In policies, we have uh, the ability to uh, add existing policies. So within policies, you know, just by clicking add, I'm going to show you a list of seeded policies. Um, by you know by by default, um, so we have third line all employees direct line command. So these are different policies that are uh, pre-built and seeded with the application. And you can also create and add your own policy. And the predicate it's a you know it's a simple work clause, um, uh, and there's a you know very simple way of creating uh, a policy. Uh, the last tab is privileges, okay? So within privileges, you can uh, allow or uh, restrict certain users and or, or responsibilities uh, being able to delegate or not, okay? So in this case, we have all the users that have been, you know, delegated, okay? Uh, and that's the standard setup, okay? Now, uh, what I'm going to go is I'm going to log off as sysadmin. Okay, and I'm going to log in now as operations. So with the user operation, and this is, uh, you know, the simple homepage, uh, you know, which is covered in another video. But here, uh, what we're going to do is within the settings, there is a, a, a new option here, which is manage proxies. So we're going to jump into manage proxies. And within manage proxies, uh, we're going to see that uh, this user operations uh, has already a proxy, has configure a proxy uh, to uh, another user, okay? And this case is Casey Brown, okay? So I'm going to update and we can see, uh, you know, the different uh, user, you know, the different details of, you know, how to add a proxy user. So very important is to add the active date from and the active date to, okay? Then you can grant, and there's a note here, and then there is a grant you know, uh, which responsibilities you are um, granting and even which work list you are granting, okay? In this case, I'm just selecting which, you know, workflow activities, workflow type I, I'm, um, uh, I can select and I can choose any of them and move it to the selected type, okay? So what I'm going to do is for purpose of showing, demonstrating this, I'm going to leave all, okay? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in, you know, I already did the proxy configuration uh, and I'm going to log off as operations and I'm going to log in as uh, Casey. We're going to have a new icon. This new icon is allowing me to do a switch user. So by switching the user, I'm going to click here to switch user and I'm going to have in this screen all the different proxy that ha I have been delegated to, okay? 
In this case, we have a single you know, uh, user to switch. Um, uh, and again, let me go back to home. So you see here that Casey Brown does not have the simple homepage, okay? So I'm gonna go back to uh, proxy user. I'm gonna switch to operations. Um, and if you remember, operations has the simplify uh, UI, okay? Simplify, simple homepage. What that means is that the security for proxy user, uh, it's you know, naturally transparent. So all the different aspects of security for a user are being transferred to the person who, who has been delegated, okay? So in, in this case, you know, I'm acting as operations, okay? I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm proxy for operations. So once I'm uh, set up as proxy you know, for operations, I can navigate to the different um, uh, screens, whether it's HTML or also forms. So you can see here, I'm in payables uh, and you know, I'm logged in as uh, Casey Brown, but I'm also you know, set up as proxy for operation in forms, okay? So that's something important. So again, security has been seamlessly integrated uh, for a proxy user, okay? From uh, someone that has been delegated um, and, uh, in the system. Now I'm gonna go back and log in as operations uh, so I can check. I'm gonna go to settings and manage proxies. And if I run, uh, I, I check, click on, on run proxy report, I'm gonna see a series of activities that Casey Brown did uh, with the date and time, okay, uh, during a period of time that I can select and, and I can see in the report. So again, this is very helpful in terms of what are the activities that the user that I have delegated uh, either my responsibilities or everything, just in this case, uh, perform at the system. Okay, so this is quick overview of proxy user. Mm -hmm.